as you can see the transition between this landscape and this 3d asset is pretty rough it shouldn't be like this it looks so unrealistic there should be some kind of uh, sand going up to this this rock and then slowly fading away but this looks so totally unrealistic for this we can use the unreal engine 5.3 technology that is called the material blending with landscape or 3d assets blending it's a bit complicated but you don't need to worry just focus on what i'm doing and you will go through okay first of all you need to open up the content browser go to the content you can create a new folder here and you can call it virtual textures just double click on it right click go to the texture and you will find the runtime virtual texture you can rename it rvt underscore environment okay we need to create another one just right click go to the textures runtime virtual textures and we will rename it rvt underscore height okay we have created two uh, virtual textures and we need to to go to the properties for the rvt underscore height just double click on it and as you can see this virtual texture is for the height so we need to tell the layout the virtual texture content that this one is uses the word height for us okay just like the word height here save this one and close this window after that just go to this plus sign and just start typing runtime and you will find this runtime virtual texture volume just drag in this to your map you will have this runtime virtual texture volume here go to its properties first of all you need to bound align actor you need to set the boundaries for your virtual texture for this select this pick actor from scene select this one and click on your landscape now your bound is the landscape after that go down and you will find these virtual textures just select this one and you will you need to select the rvt underscore height and then and then you need to click this set bounds after that go to this plus sign again type runtime select this runtime virtual texture volume again and then we do need to do the same thing bounce align actor select this pick actor from scene click on the landscape go down and in the virtual texture you will need to select the second one that is the rvt underscore environment do this and just click set bound you need to save your project just save your project okay guys after that we need to edit some settings in the landscape material for this just click on your landscape and go down and you will find the this is landscape material just double click on it as you can see this is the instance for the master class we have for the landscape and this is the parent class we have just double click, click on this class and you can just close this down and we have this here okay guys you need to add few nodes here uh, for our 3d asset blending and it's pretty easy you need to drag this sound like this you need to get get material attributes and you need to add you can just drag it down here and now we need to add few channels to this for this just click on this one one two three four and now we have the get material attributes and the first one is the base color then metallic then specular then roughness we need to change some settings here uh, the first one is the base color that is good the second one we need is the specular the third one we need the roughness and the fourth one we need the normal so this is the sequence we have just keep in mind it should be lock like this okay after that now we need to have another node that is called the virtual which runtime virtual texture output this is just track this one here 
and the base color will go to the base color the specular will go to the specular the roughness will go to the roughness and for the normal we need to convert it from the tangent space to the word space for that we need to have another node called transform just like this one and it will change the tangent space to the word space and then we need to connect it to normal like this okay now we need to add another node that is the word position just like this one and we need to, we need to add a component mask for this just type mask and this is the component mask we have just type this one and these are the channels the red green and blue it, it shows the height width and depth for this one we need the depth and we need to untake the width and and the height and just need to, and we need to connect this one to world height like this just save it okay guys we are done editing the landscape blueprint we need to save our project just save this one close this window now you need to select your landscape and you need to go down uh, where you will find the virtual textures so this is the virtual textures we have you need to add two channels this is the first one this is the second one and for the first one select the rvt underscore environment and for the second one select the rvt underscore height like this and save your project what's important here is just you must see the preview pop-ups here uh, that means that you are doing code and you don't have any errors in your blueprints okay after that go to this uh, select this 3d asset and go up where will you find the materials this is the material class for this 3d asset just double click on it go down go to the parent class this is the parent class this is the different one from the landscape parent class so just double click on it you can close this window and we will have this blueprint for this 3d asset the 3d assets also use the material attributes you can just drag this one away like this okay guys what we're going to do is to blend with this material with the sand material the sand material for our landscape based on an alpha that will take its information from the height okay for that you need to just add an node just right click and search for world position and we need to have another node which is called the runtime runtime virtual texture sample you can have this one here and select this node the runtime virtual texture sample select this one go to the properties and select the rvt underscore height after that we need to have an other node that is the component mask to so type component this is the component mask we have like this now we need to have a subtract node just write subtract this is the subtract node and we need to connect the word height with the b value for the subtract node like this okay if it's a positive value then it will blend and if it's a negative value then it will surely not blend okay guys okay now we need the white node just type the white just select this one and we need to divide it by 10 I really don't know why but it works like this way okay so after that we need to have just select all of these and just drag it a bit back now we need to have another node that is the blend material attributes have this one and we need to we need to kill this wire do you need to hold control and connect it to B and all of these values all of these values will go to the alpha and the final value will go to the material attributes like this okay I'm forgetting something here we need to select the mask value and we need to 
and take these red and green channels we only need the blue channel here like this okay I'm, uh, we need to have another node here uh, i forgot that before we need to have another node called saturate this is the saturate node we need to kill this fire and we need to plug this one here like this okay after that we need to have another node just to see the changes we have in real time for this you need to have another node called constant three vector just like this one and you can change its color to something maybe red like this click this one and i cannot attach this to the blend it material attributes for that i need to need have set material attributes so this is the constant vector we have after that we need to have another node this is the set material attributes and we need to add one channel and this is the base color we have just connect this base color to this and this goes to the a that looks amazing okay as you can see how beautifully it's blending in with the landscape here okay now we need to go to the blueprints we need to delete this one and we need to delete this one as well and we need to add a new node that is the runtime runtime virtual texture sample just select this one and for this we need to select the environment and the first one we select the height and for this one we need to select the rvt underscore environment select this one and we need to have another node this is the set material attributes and we need to have four channels here one two three four and we need to have the same sequence as we have in the runtime virtual texture and the first one is the base color the second one is the specular the third one is the roughness the fourth one is the normal and the base color will go to the base color the specular will go to the specular the roughness will go to the roughness and for the normal we need to have a new node called transform have this one and just then then we need to convert it to normal but for the transform vector we need the word space transformed to the tangent space for this the source should be word space and it should be transformed to the tangent space after that just select this one and connect it to the value of a and as you can see that 3d asset is blending in with the landscape and it's looking stunning it's looking so beautiful uh there is no rough transition from this landscape to this 3d asset as you can see if you drag it a bit down uh, there is a sand layer on this 3d asset this rock and it's just slowly fading away and it looks so good this is the new technology from the unreal engine 5.